Hey everyone, I am just here with a fun idea for a pocket belly band. I've um, seen this done by Corey Dahman, but I don't know if she has a tutorial. Um, so I just saw the finished product and thought, oh, I, I'll make up a way to do that. But it's probably exactly like hers. Um, but it's really just fun because what you're going to do is have a belly band, but you'll end up having a pocket on this side and then a pocket on this side as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that um, my way, with my little twist. Um, so what I've done is I have here printed some different papers and ideas from the April subscription kit, but you could use any paper that you have. Um, this is this really kind of neutrally paper. It's really beautiful. And I have cut this. I wrote it down for you. I've cut this to six by seven inches. And then I scored it at two inches and four inches. And went ahead and folded that like so. Now for me, I just sewed around this front rectangle and inked that. The rest of this is going to be invisible and you will not see it. So I just went ahead and sewed around that and inked it. You can't sew after or you'll sew your pockets shut. So you just need to sew first if you're going to do that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue just along the top and the bottom of that belly band. And when I go ahead and put this into my journal, which obviously if your journal is a different size, you're gonna to wanna to make it a different height. So you can just adjust according to your journal. And now I need to sew this one shut as well, creating a pocket over on this side. Just like that. All right. Now we have the basis of our belly band. Now in the kit, there are these cute little squares that are, and it shows you a diagram of how to turn them into just mini little envelopes. Super fun, super easy, but I can tell you these squares are four by four. Um, so that's the size that I'm working with. I double printed this, so I have the same as this one on the back of my envelopes because I just wanted it to be cute on the inside of the envelope. And then the mini envelopes come in all different patterns. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these mini envelopes with a square, a 4 by 4 square. All right, so you want to find the center of your paper, so just go from corner to corner and kind of mark it and then come and go the opposite way. And where those two lines intersect, that is your dead center. So then if you want, you can erase the other stuff just in case you don't wanna see it later. So once you have your dead center marked, let's see, I don't think it matters which way. So bring in one corner and bring in the other corner. And we're just going to make tiny envelopes to be tucked into our pockets. Now, you're going to take this up. And you're not just going to take it to where that meets here, because then you won't have anything to attach your flap to. So you're going to bring it up just a little further. Personal preference is fine. Go with what you like. Bring that up, and you can use a bone folder or your fingernail or whatever. And then the same on the top. You're going to want to bring that down until it comes a little past there so it's going to cover that crease. So you'll see up here you have something a little, I'll show you, a little bit of a straight piece right there, if that makes sense. Now what will make this look like an envelope if you really want, which you don't have to do, is to go ahead and corner round the top and the bottom. I like to do it because it just makes it look like, oh my heck, they have a little mini envelope, not a square folded like a square. Does that make sense? I didn't do so great, but that's okay. All right, and now I'm just going to go ahead and ink on the inside too because that's going to be my flap. 
So I did all the other three off camera so you don't have to watch me ink for days. But you're gonna get a watch, at least one being completely made. So you get to watch the inking of it too. Um, and then we'll decide which way we want to be the top of our, we want this to be the top. It doesn't matter, it's just personal preference. So that's how I decided that. So this is gonna show, the other one will be glued under the other piece, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so now you have your little envelope. And you'll notice you don't want to get glue up in here as you're gluing this down, but you can get pretty close. So you're going to just carefully glue along there and along there, and then your envelope is done. I'm going to let that dry. Got a little extra in there, but that's okay. And now I'm going to double check that I didn't glue my envelope shut. I think we're clear. All right. Perfect. So I have made several little envelopes. These are the ones, like I said, these are all from that April kit. I have one more that I need to glue, so you can watch that one more time. But um, it's really fun because on one paper, you have all four different paper pattern designs. So it's really easy to get kind of the variety of cute little envelopes that we've got here. All right, and they're cute on the inside too, which is really fun, but these are just, these are so cute. And any, anything mini, right? Okay, um, and now I have several of these. What I did is I, this is cardstock, and I double printed it as well. And I cut them each to two inches by five inches, and then I folded. And then I got my handy dandy corner rounder again, because there's just something, that I like sometimes to use a corner rounder for, and this is one of those times. It'll just give it like a more boutique kind of finished feel. Make it a little extra. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and get a little on the back. And we might wanna do the inside. And I'd probably come through and erase my little measurement, but for now I'm not gonna worry about that because it won't hurt the video at all. Okay, so now I have this cute little card that's gonna be going into that envelope and have some journaling space. That's why I used Neutrally here was so I have some journaling space. Um, and now you have that in the envelope. And I, the envelopes I just printed on regular computer paper, printer paper, regular weight, and then this was a lightweight card stock personal preference, how thick you make it. And you have these cute little envelopes and they're cute little journal cards. Now I could embellish the fronts if I wanted. Um, I think there's enough here that I'm not going to, but here's what's going to happen. You're going to glue this into, let me get like a sample page here. Pretend this is your journal and you're going to glue it up top and up bottom. You will be able to tuck something behind the whole thing. And then you'll be able to tuck something in this pocket here. And you'll be able to tuck something in this pocket over here. And it's kind of this fun little, you could even tuck them this way if you wanted, just whatever you want. And you can stagger them or whatever you want. And now I'm going to just do a quick embellishment on the front because why not? So I have some lace, just a cotton lace. And I'm going to go ahead and put a fair amount of my art glitter glue down. Hold that in place. And I have this fun little bird. A fussy cut bird from the April kit as well. And I think I'm just going to center that beauty. So let me make sure where I don't. I can get glue on almost everything. Probably not these two far ends. But we want to secure that pretty well. so Because it's going over lace. Okay. I'll try to get that spread out a little more. And we'll glue our beautiful songbird down. 
It's just so happy. It's sunny today here and it's just been so nice. It's crazy to think like a week ago we had 21 inches of snow and now we have green lawn. It is the strangest thing I've ever seen with that type of weather this type of year. Now this is in that kit as well. It comes on a little tag. I just cut the tag away because I just wanted the little word. But it'd be kind of cute. You could hang the little tag down from the bird or whatever. But I just wanted the tiny word. So, all right. So there you have it. Like a hidden pocket little belly band there. And that you can do with the April kit. Really easy. Really fun. Um, I love that effect. It, I mean, that will just look beautiful on a page. So, anyway, there you go. I hope you are having fun with your crafting and um, really enjoying that creative process. Anyway, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for supporting. It, it truly does mean a lot. So, anyway, we will talk to you later. Bye.